Welcome to Philippine Canadian and Par's Daily News Roundup brought to you by CanadianandPar.net, your only Filipino Canadian daily news portal. I'm Rowan Aku, and here are stories making headlines today. Ex health official says Sanofi should assist those affected by Dingbaksha. A former health official on Friday said that French pharmaceutical giant Sanofi Pasteur misput efforts in providing assistance to children who had severe dengue after having been immunized by the anti-dengue vaccine Dengvaxia, which they manufactured. In an interview with ANC's early edition, former Health Undersecretary Susan Mercado said, quote, Sanofi should be providing for families affected because their children did not previously have a dengue, unquote. An estimate of 700,000 children received the vaccination and according to the records of the Department of Health, there are around 1,000 people who fell sick, including 30 children who were hospitalized after receiving Dengvaksha. Duterte aims for a more acceptable drug war. Despite his campaign to eradicate illegal drugs often tagged as bloody, the president now aims to find acceptable ways of addressing the country's problem. Quote, I will walk not only the extra mile to find a more acceptable way, I will walk for one day to find it, but in the meantime, I will not allow my country to go to the dogs, unquote, President Rodrigo Duterte said. Duterte has always been firm in his stance when it comes to illegal drugs, even before being elected, but he admitted that it is not a good policy. While the president has often threatened killing drug-related criminals during most of his speeches, this time he added that they do not enjoy killing their own folk. Quote, but we are besieged, I said, by something that is very terrible. China is already suffering from it, unquote, he said. According to the president, he does not care about his critics since 4 million people under the influence of illegal drugs should not be ignored. Palestinians protest Trump move, more unrest feared. Thousands of Palestinian protesters clashed with Israeli forces in East Jerusalem and the West Bank. Demonstrators in the Gaza Strip burned U.S. flags and pictures of President Donald Trump and a top Palestinian official said Vice President Mike Pence would not be welcome in the West Bank in a show of rage Thursday over the American decision to recognize Jerusalem as Israel's capital. Israeli forces were bracing for the possibility of even stronger violence on Friday when tens of thousands of Palestinians attend weekly prayers at Jerusalem's Al-Aqsa Mosque, the city's most sacred Islamic site. In Gaza, the supreme leader of the Hamas militant group called on Palestinians to launch a new uprising against Israel. The Palestinians were blindsided by Trump's move to depart from decades of U.S. policy on Jerusalem and append long-standing international assurances that the fate of the city would be determined in negotiations. That wraps it for news here on PZA Daily News Roundup. Thank you for joining us. For more news stories, visit our website at www.canadianandcard.net.